potato soup sounds good to you? I'll show you how I made it. Hi, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I'll be showing you how I made this delicious and comforting potato soup. My family and I haven't been feeling very well around these days. So um, I decided to make a potato soup using lots of potatoes that I had on hand already. I'll show you how how I made it uh, and I substitute some of the original ingredients that usually go on this soup. So here I am peeling lots and lots of potatoes. I ended up using 20 to 22 medium sized potatoes. It is a lot but it is a potato soup after all. I used about a little less than a quarter of, a, of an onion and about five cloves of garlic. Usually you can use um, chicken bouillon, that's what the uh, recipe calls for, um, but I use this adobo because it's gluten free. And you just add salt to taste once um, you are cooking and you taste it, you can add a little bit of salt. I ended up um, adding also some oregano that I'll show you a little more ahead in the recipe. So um, as I mentioned, uh, it is a lot of peeling of potatoes. There I am peeling all the potatoes and here I am I'm making the sauce for the, for the stock, you would say, um, for, the chick for the potato soup. I used that adobo instead of um, chicken bouillon. I added to the blender the garlic and the onion. And I used one can of tomato soup, tomato, um, tomato sauce. I'm sorry. You can use tomato paste also if you have some. You, you would just use less. I added a little bit of water just to rinse off the can to blend it all together. Um, as I mentioned, you can use oregano and add it at this point if you would like to. I like to add it at the end on the soup just to have a little bit of texture and see it on top of the soup. But I'll show you how I added it later on. Um, here I have the, the pan and um, in the oregano I have about a teaspoon of oregano. I have the tomato that I blended together here and I just rinsed off the blender. Have the potatoes soaking in um, water with some salt on the back so that they don't turn brown until I'm ready to use them. Here I meant to add one tablespoon of oil. Went a little more but I um, took it out. I just don't like my soup very oily, but I do like to add a little bit of oil at the beginning just to um, kind of sa saute the, um, the sauce and get all those flavors out. So there it is. The oil is hot at this moment and I went ahead and added the, the sauce. Just to get it going and cooking and get all the flavors out. Um, just go ahead and stir for about a minute. As you can see here, you'll see uh, the color changing already on the sides. There it is, boiling already. Go ahead and stir again. Just make sure it doesn't stick to the pan. And just let it cook for about another minute. Um, you'll see it thicken a little bit. At this point, I went ahead and added the water. Um, I ended up adding eight cups of water. You could probably add seven, well, depending on the pot that you're using. I ended up having a lot of um, liquid and a lot of potatoes. Um, the pot was a little small for this amount. But um, you can make it work. Um, I I pour some of the liquid out on a on a on a cup and added it in in the 
in the soup again as it as it was cooking and and boiling here I am cutting the potatoes once I cut them I put them back in the water until I was ready to put them back in the soup because um, if you leave them out they'll turn brown and I cut the potatoes bite-sized pieces make sure you cut all the potatoes the same size if you cut them too small they might just get very soft and mushy but um, too big it might just be uncomfortable to eat it um, so bite-sized pieces is perfect and you want them all the same size so that they all cook at the same speed you don't want some to be more tender and some firm you want them all the same texture so there I am adding them back into the water now the boiling the water is boiling at this moment and it's ready um, it's ready for me to add the potatoes um, I left it uncovered while I was cutting the potatoes if you cover it it'll boil quicker but um, I I took this time to cut the potatoes in the meantime and um, there I am adding all the potatoes be careful it doesn't um, it doesn't spill out as you can see I made a mess around here when I was cooking and I don't mind my dirty my dir dirty stove when you see it I honestly didn't pay attention I wasn't intending to make a video <laughs> and I ended up just cleaning the stove at the end there I am taking some of the um, liquid out uh, just to make room for all the potatoes at this moment because I want them all in so they cook all at the same time and um, at this moment um, I'm grabbing the oregano that um, I believe uh, I was grabbing the oregano that I was planning to put into the pot already and there it is what I do is take some of those little sticks that come in the oregano out. I really don't like them. They're all, uh, uncomfortable. So I pick them out and um, I just go ahead and put it in my hand and rub them together just so that they get smaller. They're not as big, but, not, but they're not as small as and disappear if I were to blend them with the sauce in the blender. I like them like that, that texture, it gives it that homey, homey flavor soup and texture. It is really good to taste, hope you, hope you tried this recipe, hope you tried this soup. Um, a lot of the times we have potatoes at home, you can add um, some other uh, ingredients you can add pasta if you wanted to but um, this is the original recipe I grew up with and I love it till this day I love it as I mentioned you um, can use chicken bouillon or if you have chicken stock it's much better I made a work with this seasoning I had so if you have any seasoning you can um, you can use that there it is now what we need to do is just let it come back to a boil and this whole soup took about 30 minutes to be ready okay so I put the, the heat too high just to bring it back to a boil I covered it just be careful and um, so it doesn't spill because it doesn't take that long once you cover it to come back to a boil it only took about 30 minutes oh, I'm sorry not 30 minutes 30 minutes to be ready it only took three minutes for it to come back to a boil so just be careful so it doesn't spill all over and there it is boiling I made this um, quick chipotle sauce with this kind of um, chipotle peppers just a few slices of onion two large gar 
cloves of garlic and some salt to taste. It goes together with this soup so good. It's delicious. Uh, there it is, uh, the soup. I added back the liquid that I had taken out. It's warm at this point. And just thinking about it, my mouth is watering already again. It was so good. This whole pot, it was, uh, we hardly had any left. Everybody had seconds. Everybody loved it. We all had it with that sauce and lime. Only the little ones did not have hot sauce. But um, there it is. You can um, take a piece of potato out. What I usually do is just stick the tip of the knife in. And if, it, if it's soft, firm, it's ready. You can, um, you can turn it off. And taste the um the liquid the the soup the um the stock, just to make sure it doesn't need any salt anything else you'd like to add. At this point, I added about a teaspoon of salt. I felt like it needed a little bit more salt, but just make sure you taste as you go. You don't want it to be salty. It's better to for it to need salt than to end up being salty and you can't fix it so um there it is boiling ready to go as I mentioned it took about 30 minutes I wasn't ready to make this soup or even a video but I wanted to share this with you so bad it's delicious I'll be serving it here hope you make it and try it um this sauce ended up being very hot but it's so good with this soup with a little bit of lime you can have this soup with some crackers tostadas chips anything um and it's just good for this cold weather i hope you try it enjoy it and um, let me know if you make it or what is your favorite soup to have around this cold weather, around this holidays.